nice. Does that look like a Ford logo to you? It's because it is. 2005 through 2014 Mustang GT rear caliper disc brakes on a 1970 Dodge Charger. What's up guys? Welcome back. So today what we are doing here on the 1970 Charger is we are adapting 2007 through 14 Mustang GT rear brakes. They fit to this platform thanks to Vlad at Invincible Extremes. These are 11.8 inch rotors and they fit perfectly. The only thing you have to do is you will have to hone out the inside and you're going to remove half a millimeter of material. Other than that, the calipers will mount up perfectly back here. So what this guy created is absolutely genius. He created a bracket system that works, bolts right up. He also includes a uh, backer plate to replace the uh, distance from where the drum assembly was before. So the only thing you'll have to do is you're going to have to get longer spicer bolts. I will include the, a link to them or the description and the size you need. I got mine off of eBay, 15 bucks. got all five bolts. Um, I'm going to put it in the description down below. But yeah, get through some longer spicer bolts, get rid of all your old drum equipment, get this kit from Vlad, put it on, go to a junkyard, get you some calipers for uh, 20, 2007 through uh, 14 Mustang G GT rear brakes. And then get you some new rotors from AutoZone or Riley's or even eBay. I spent 60 bucks on mine, not that bad. And then hone out the hub centric section, fit it on, bolt it up, lead your brakes, and enjoy car cruising season. In 1970, on the driver's side, there's an L, L, L. They are left hand threads. So, righty, Lucy lefty tidy god it's been too long <laughs> Alright guys, so this is a work in progress. I am going to have to get longer studs, it's just not quite long enough. No big deal, I mean that's a pain worth having. But junkyard find on the calipers, 2005-14 through 14 Mustang Coupe GT convertible. As long as it's not the 500, the rear brakes, the calipers the same from 2005-14. through 14. I gotta say thank you Invincible Extremes, Muscle Car Garage. He's made an amazing product here. Go to his channel, give him some love. He does everything from 240Z upgrades and suspension to Bronco 2 Overland builds. I mean, just it, it's an amazing channel. Go over there and check him out. But uh, he is definitely a guy to check out if you want to save some money on your second generation B body charger 1968 through 1970. Mustang brakes on the rear end for just a hell of a deal. Maybe a little janky, it's a ball joint press, but it's made for stuff a lot stronger than these studs getting pressed in. Because there's just not a whole lot of room for using the hammer back there. Let's see if we can get that to work. Oh, 
I gotta say, that worked wonders. Bottom stud, pressed in nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it for this top one. I did put on this thicker plate just to keep it from deforming the gasket that's still there, but also just to give it some extra strength and rigidity because that plate's pretty thick. all fully installed now went ahead and bolted these down at 50 foot pounds each not really sure if that's too much or too little but it seems a good good healthy ratio because I got it tight by hand and it could take a little extra so looking at that seal the way uh, Vlad created these that is a pretty good tight seal all the way around I did have to finesse uh, each hole just a little bit because I noticed with the studs, I'm going to use these as an example when I'm talking about these, the actual axle retainers, um, with them being a little bit longer seems to exaggerate the pitch in just a little bit like that. So I had to basically soften or oblong the holes with the drill, but overall it works. It's got a nice, tight, clean, crisp fit. Now we can work on getting the dog bone set up and then get our calipers mounted. things left to do but we're gonna have to get some different size bolts back here they're just slightly too long so those are the original ones from the Mustang we'll take them off and get some that are slightly shorter but board it out set in correctly set correctly bracket set correctly it's so cool definitely a bargain ones from O'Reilly's they're one and five eighths so that'll work six bucks so cool thanks to invincible extreme machines pretty sturdy product this is awesome Finishing this, I just realized when we go to hook it up, I'm gonna have to get a custom brake line made. 
because I don't think anything from O'Reilly's is going to fit this and the distance it takes to get from the distribution block to here. So luckily we have uh, a Miraflex right outside of Tulsa. So we can go there and just take measurements, tell them both the ends we need. They'll make it for us in like 10 minutes. So a lot easier. I'll take you guys with. But uh, that's basically it. We're going to go ahead and finish bolting up the tire here. And uh, when I get the hoses made, I will show you guys in the next one.